everybody, I'm Ryan and this is Tog Tips. Today we're gonna to talk about tripods. What should you be looking for in a tripod, basically? Um, there's tons of brands out there. You can go and pick up a cheapo brand that's plastic and flimsy and it's gonna fall apart. Or you can invest some money, maybe even like $100 or so, and pick up something decent. Now, what do I mean by decent? Well, something like this that's metal and it's easy to fold out. Um, you're looking for something like a ball head or a, a head like this that isn't going to move around too much. The beauty of this one, if I can make it work, of course I had to lock it here, it's got a little mounting plate. So this mounts right onto the bottom of your camera. It's what the little hole in the bottom is designed for. And it's nice and stable. The only thing I don't like about this brand is you need a coin to actually screw this in. A lot of times they'll have little hand washers or something. And it just mounts here on your tripod and bam it's locked that's not moving anywhere your camera's not going to move anywhere and this head is nice and secure um, a couple other things is you'll notice some of the higher quality ones they'll have little leveling bubbles so you can tell when you're actually level um, and a head like this too you'll want to have it so you can move back and forth or loosen it so you can pan up and down and it should be nice and fluid but sturdy and of course tripod three legs that's kind of what they call them why they call them a tripod uh, there's a few ways you can extend the legs this one just has these little hand clips sometimes they'll have little um, clips that will actually screw together and those can be a little bit longer to actually get your legs extended that took me what like four or five seconds um, another important thing is this one has a middle base that will extend up and down. Um, another great tip is if you're, get that out of the way. <laughs> if you have your camera bag with you and you want to add some extra stability, they'll usually have a little clip or a hook at the bottom of this metal, mi middle piece that you can put your bag on or some sort of weight that's gonna weigh that down and keep things way more stable. Now, why do you want stability? Well, if you're like me and you like to drink a lot of coffee, you're gonna be shaky. So handheld, you might introduce a little bit of vibration or blur. With something like landscapes or long exposures, you just place your camera on top of this mount and, and there you go. And if you're extremely shaky, you can even use a, a shutter release, which is just a cable that attaches to your camera and a button on the end of this cable that you just press instead of clicking the shutter. Uh, sometimes for night photography that might introduce a little vibration if you're actually physically hitting the shutter. So yeah, what you want to look for in a good quality tripod is a metal uh, construction. It doesn't have to be like carbon fiber or something like that. Just something that's easy to tote around and carry. Um, another thing you might want to use is a monopod. Of course, mono meaning one and pod meaning foot. <laughs> It's just like a tripod, just two feet less. So basically how this works is you can adjust it to eye level or whatever height you want. There's a little mounting screw here. You can just put your camera on. Or if you have a great big lens, you might want to mount that lens on there so it's not so heavy for you to be holding. Um, if you're out shooting for quite a while, you'll notice with a big heavy lens that you're going to get a little shaky or your shoulders and arms are going to start to feel a little tense. This will take that weight right off and it's totally fine. Also, if you're hiking, it doubles as a walking stick <laughs> or to fend off bears if need be. Um, they're great for even using as a boom. You can maybe mount a GoPro camera or something on here, a video camera, and just you know extend it out over top of your subject if you wanted to get that effect. Or if it's a difficult to reach area, you can go that way too. Conversely, you can go upside down with these and with the tripod too and film from the bottom, from the floor, whatever you want. <laughs> um, again, with monopods, you can range in price to they're very cheap to very expensive. There are also some brands that will actually have a hybrid where one of the legs on the tripod will actually snap out and be used as a monopod. Um, the reason I love monopods is they're a lot easier to transport, to take out to a scene or a location. Uh, lugging around a big heavy tripod when you're in the mountains probably isn't a very good thing. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt your back. 
and it's not quite accessible, say if you have to traverse rocks or something. Whereas your monopod, there's even a little pouch on the side of your bag to stick it on and you can just have it on your backpack and keep going. So yeah, that's tripods and monopods for today. And remember the only way you're gonna improve is to pick up that camera and shoot.